Hey everybody, this Sunday is the first Sunday of the new year and I want to share with you news about our Sunday gathering. I think a lot of us are learning, uh, those of us who are, are at the in-person Sunday gathering, that we don't know how much we need the encouragement and strength of other people until we re-experience re it. It's easy just to forget um, how much we need each other. And it's also true that one of our values for our Sunday gathering is unity. So I am really trying to build unity around our one in-person Sunday gathering. So I want to speak to two groups of people this morning. The first group is those of you who could be coming to our Sunday in-person Sunday gathering, but you just gotten comfortable with your cup of coffee on the sofa. And I get that. I've been there. But for those of you that maybe could be coming to our in-person Sunday gathering, we just encourage you to do that. I think a lot of us are re-experiencing just how much we need each other. And there's a video attached to this email that I'd love everybody to, to watch, but especially those of you who are having trouble getting back into the rhythm of being at the in-person Sunday gathering. It's the testimonies of people who have learned how much they need to be together with the church community. So the second group of people is those of you in a vulnerable population group or you have a legitimate concern about you or your family being with other people until the vaccine. And for the second group, we're announcing an alternative. Beginning this Sunday, we're going to have a drive-in church option for our in-person Sunday gathering. And what this means is that you can come to the in-person gathering and stay in your car and never leave your car and have all the safety of just being in the safety of your car. We'll have a section of the gravel parking lot close to the pavilion marked drive-in church zone. And you can nose your car into the parking lot facing the pavilion and you can see all the people up front leading the service and you can see uh, the other people in their lawn chairs at the service. And you'll have a, just a wonderful line of sight into everything going on. So get there at 9.50 or so, park your car, stay in your car, tune your radio dial to 87.9, and believe it or not, wonders of technology, you'll be able to turn your radio dial on and you'll be able to hear uh, everything that's going on. And you can sing the songs and all the rest. And by the way, if you are there at the in-person gathering and you see somebody that you love seeing in their cars, just smile and wave at them. And you can talk to them uh, later in the afternoon on the phone. So we're going to try for the remaining Sundays in September this drive-in church option. And if we get some takers, then we'll continue to offer it. We'll still be providing pre-recorded adult and children's messages. Uh, but beginning this Sunday, again, the first group of you, we're calling you to try the in-person gathering if you've just gotten comfortable in pandemic rhythms. And the second group of you, try drive-in church or invite somebody you, you know that you think would also enjoy it. So start your engines. I'm putting my drive-in hat on. Announcing this week, drive-in church. Thanks, everybody, and look forward to the start of the fall with all of you.